UFC commentator Daniel Cormier has shared a message from Michael Chandler ahead of Chandler's highly anticipated fight against Conor McGregor at UFC 303. Chandler, who last fought in 2022 when he was defeated by Dustin Poirier, is brimming with confidence as he prepares to face McGregor, whose last bout ended with a severe leg injury against Poirier. Cormier revealed on his YouTube channel that Chandler sent out a video message to numerous people, showcasing his belief that he will emerge victorious. The message stated, What's up guys, see you at the top on June 29th. I want you to have a drink with me. Chandler, who invested in the tequila company Hiatus late last year, plans a unique celebration involving a specially crafted drink. Chandler's message detailed a creative celebration, where he encouraged recipients to share their addresses so he could send them a mixture of ingredients to prepare a drink to toast his expected victory over McGregor. He wants Instagram videos of people enjoying this drink when he knocks out McGregor, highlighting his confidence and promotional flair ahead of the fight. Cormier noted, it's a very creative thing, emphasizing Chandler's inventive approach to engaging fans and celebrating his anticipated success in the octagon. Curtis Blades feels a sense of destiny as he prepares for his rematch with Tom Aspinall. The two heavyweights are set to clash for the interim UFC Heavyweight Championship at UFC 304 on July 27 in Manchester. Their previous encounter in July 2022 ended abruptly when Aspinall suffered a knee injury just 15 seconds into the fight. In a recent interview with Mike Bone of MMAJunkie.com, Blades expressed his confidence in getting another shot at Aspinall. I knew that I would have another opportunity to fight him again. Blades said. Whether or not it was for a belt, I wouldn't have been able to guess it. But I think it's a little poetic that it is for a belt. Blades, who doesn't typically harbor personal grudges against his opponents, views the upcoming bout as strictly business. He's a cool dude, Blades stated. There's no beef. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I would like to disperse the negative narrative that you have to hate the guy you're gonna fight. I've been an athlete since I was nine, never hated any of my opponents. You don't have to hate somebody to physically compete and do your best to win. I know he's gonna do his best to knock me out, I'm gonna do my best to knock him out. But there's no animosity behind it. It's just that's his job, that's my job. UFC 304 will be headlined by a UFC welterweight championship fight, with title holder Leon Edwards defending his belt against Bilal Muhammad. This card promises to be an exciting night for MMA fans, featuring top-tier talent and high-stakes matchups. Former two-weight UFC champion Conor McGregor has recently revealed a shift in his approach to fighting, especially regarding trash talk. McGregor, known for his sharp tongue and psychological warfare, appears to be toning down his antics ahead of his UFC 303 main event fight against Michael Chandler. In an interview with the Mac Life's Oscar Willis, McGregor discussed his return to the octagon after nearly three years away. He expressed a more mature perspective, indicating a change in how he views trash talking. I don't think I'll go to that level of trash talk again, McGregor stated. It doesn't serve a purpose, and it doesn't serve me well. You know, like, you remain cold to the situation. You remain emotionless. McGregor's last fight was marked by a severe leg injury in his bout against Dustin Poirier. During his time off, he seems to have reassessed his approach to competition. He emphasized his readiness and focus on showcasing his skills rather than engaging in verbal sparring. He said this. I'm ready to go. I'm calm, I'm composed, and I'm cold in the soul for this man. I'm excited to show my skills, my man. Yeah, I'm in a great place mentally, physically, and spiritually. Reflecting on his strategy, McGregor added, you remain emotionless. It's a blank face and a specific body type. He has his set movements, his set patterns he moves in, and his set shots, and I'm aware of them. I'm preparing for a multitude of outcomes and just getting myself ready as I can be. 
but I'm confident that all my shots will land. As McGregor prepares for his comeback, fans can expect a more focused and possibly less provocative version of the Notorious. Whether this new approach will benefit him in the cage remains to be seen when he faces Chandler in June. Charles Oliveira is eyeing a swift return to the octagon in July or August, just three to four months after his bout with Armin Zarukyan at UFC 300. Although Oliveira initially expressed a desire to fight as early as June, his team advised him to calm down and take a slightly longer break. He was also called out to fight Renato Moicano next, but he declined the matchup due to his current rankings, as he wants to work his way back to the title shot. He responded and welcomed a fight against Max Holloway instead. Oliveira also stands by his performance in the fight against Zarukyan, believing he won rounds 1 and 3. This conviction fuels his eagerness to get back into the ring and continue his quest in the lightweight division. UFC welterweight champion Leon Edwards explained why UK fans will have to stay up late for UFC 304 in Manchester this summer. The event is set for July 27 at the Co-op Live and will start at 3 a.m. local time to accommodate the usual US pay-per-view schedule. UFC 304 marks the first post-pandemic event in a UK city other than London. The card includes British fighters like Paddy Pimblett, Molly McCann, Arnold Allen, and Mohamed Mokayev, with Edwards and Tom Aspinall headlining as they defend their belts. During an appearance on the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani, Edwards revealed that the original plan was to hold the event in Utah, USA, which set the PPV timings for the American audience. When the decision was made to move the event to Manchester, the PPV slot had already been locked in, and changing the timings was not feasible. Edwards explained, about 5.30 I'll be fighting, I think. I'm gonna have to adjust my time zones to accommodate for that. I feel like it should have been normal time in the UK. Dana White came out and said he wants to reward the fans in Europe and the UK. It would have been brilliant to do that. But it is what it is. I spoke to Hunter Campbell and said, why can't we do it in normal time? He said it's because of the pay-per-view in America. I think they said the pay-per-view was already booked for Utah, right, so the slot was already booked in. So when they changed it to Manchester, they couldn't change also the time with the TV station. This late-night start means fighters like Edwards will need to adjust their schedule significantly, and fans attending the event will have to prepare for an all-nighter. Despite the inconvenience, UFC 304 promises an exciting lineup, with Edwards and Aspinall aiming to deliver memorable performances to keep fans engaged into the early hours. The UFC Louisville event on June 8, 2024, at the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky, is set to feature an exciting main event and several intriguing matchups across different weight classes. Jared Cannonier, the former 185-pound title challenger, is making his return to the octagon after a year-long break due to an MCL injury. Cannonier's last appearance was a dominant victory over Marvin Vittori at UFC Vegas 75 in June 2023. Now fully recovered, the 40-year-old Killa Gorilla aims to re-establish himself as a top contender in the middleweight division. Nasordin Imavov, currently ranked number 8 in the middleweight division, is coming off a victory against Roman Dolidze at UFC Vegas 85. The 29-year-old fighter is looking to build on his success and secure his place among the elite in the division with a win over Cannoneer. Raul Roses Jr. vs. Ricky Tercios This bantamweight showdown features rising star Raul taking on the skilled Ricky Tercios. Both fighters are known for their dynamic fighting styles, promising an exciting bout. Julian Marquez and Zach Reese will clash in a middleweight bout. Marquez, known for his striking and resilience, will face Reese, who is eager to make a statement in the division. 
The UFC Louisville card is packed with a mix of established veterans and up-and-coming fighters, setting the stage for a night of high-stakes action. The main event between Cannoneer and Imavov is particularly compelling, as both fighters look to advance their standing in the competitive middleweight division. Cannoneer's return from injury and Imavov's quest for recognition add significant interest to this fight, promising a thrilling showdown. The additional bouts featuring promising talents like Raul Rosas Jr. and Ricky Tercios further enhance the card's appeal. The official poster for UFC Louisville highlights the main event fighters, Jared Cannonier and Nasordine Imavov, capturing the anticipation and excitement surrounding their clash. As more fights are announced and the event draws closer, fans can look forward to a memorable night of MMA action in Louisville.